Now let's also see as to how are microorganisms harmful. Okay. The term which is used for such microorganisms which are harmful are known as pathogens. Pathogens basically cause disease which could be in humans, okay, it could be even animals or plant. I mean many a times you would have seen that you know there is a tree, there are let's say certain apples which are growing on the tree and you know these apples there are kind of these spots. So these are all caused by microorganisms which are harmful. Again animals, many times you might see that some the pet that you have on their body there are certain scars and everything which gets developed. Let's say you have a dog. He might develop certain kinds of scars on his body. These are again because of the microorganisms normally known as pathogens and human beings I think there are so many things. Now these pathogens can be transferred to human beings by means of air, water or food okay and can also be transmitted by animals. So let's take an example for each one of them. Air. Have you seen a person with common cold? When he sneezes, what happens is he will throw out large number of small drops unless he uses a handkerchief or something. These drops, if they fall from one person to another, get into the body of the other person and gets him to catch cold as well. Right? Similarly for food, let's say you had a fly, okay, she went and sat on the garbage box. So as she sat on the garbage box, her legs got contaminated or got attached to the various microbes and when she comes and sits on the food, at your plate, she would drop these here. When you eat that food, then again the same microbes enter your body. Water. If the water pipelines and all are not maintained, then these microbes come and contaminate that water. When it reaches your households, you drink it, again it causes problems. Okay, so these are the three modes in which it can get transferred. Now let's take some specific case of animals or flies etc. You would have seen the cases of malaria. That's a very common fever which happens in this part of the world. So what happens is that there is a female mosquito which is also known as Anopheles or house flies. So these female mosquitoes or anopheles as they come and bite a person who's affected with malaria, some part of these microbes go and sit in the body of anopheles. When she goes and sits on the body of some other person and bites her, she would transfer these microbes that came to her body to the body of the other person. And that's how malaria gets spread it from one to the other. Okay? And the other case that I gave you in case of food just like this is also very prevalent. So these harmful microorganisms can actually cause you a large number of diseases. And these diseases which can spread from one person to the other are known as communicable diseases.